I have some formulas where I broke down this argument, this type of question, sufficient assumption questions, and I'll share that page with you here so you could see. I kind of went through and grouped them all into six major categories. The first is a restatement of the conclusion and the argument. The second is the contrapositive of the conclusion and the argument. And so I'll share with you the link here if you want to walk through those a bit more on your own later. I've broken them down for the vast majority of logical reasoning questions from exams 19 through 58 into these major categories. And then there are some other more complex ones that don't come up quite as often. Then there is one that is actually quite frequent where you, it's a bit more complicated involving linkages, but that doesn't, doesn't come up quite as often as it used to. I know one person was asking about how logical reasoning has changed over time in terms of difficulty and in terms of trends. And um, I think one of the biggest things that has changed is that it has, these, it has become a little bit less formulaic over time where you can't do quite as much uh, diagramming and manipulation. It's much more about kind of seeing the general principles underlying a particular question. 